Hello everyone, it's OJ, and the next part of the game, as you're about to see, the tough rematching game since last season of the Stanley Cup playoffs for the first time. Now, the second time is revisit again, the Bolts and the Leafs. Now there is some change up as we were talking about it before, that Ryan O'Reilly has been traded to the Toronto Maple Leafs. Well, I'm not sure what will happen with the next game because there might be a different ability that could be going in here at the later time. I'm hoping there is another way that could try to stop their run in the first game. If the Bolts could try to like strike back, but there might not be enough to go with a possible run that could be going right from here. As we have a look at the starting lineups of the players, the X Factor players, we have is Nikita Kucherov, Andre Vasilevsky, and Victor Hudman. The other side of the Leafs, we only have is Austin Matthews and Mitchell Marner, and only one player, William Nylander. All three players for the Bolts has gotten some great opportunity runs. Actually, they are four. So, Make It Snappy is given an elite snapshot in stride. The Bolts never made a win here by a couple seasons in between. Last season was the biggest loss against the Canadians by the 2021 Stanley Cup Finals in between by the Scotty and North and Discover Central. And then, and it was happened here in the regular season as well. They lost against the Washington Capitals in the in the overtime of this regular season. But they will find out if they can try to win it again for next season, if they can try to pick him up. But not this time because postseason is still happening. Then we have is Andre Vasilevsky, the control, the contortionist. He's really well faced out there. He's got a great, really wild saves ability. He's an excellent player on a game. They're all keeping Vasilevsky. No matter if he gets traded, you will have to keep him for good. Victor Hedman is calling the stick it up ability, a defensive stick lift. And there are some other ones that he can try to do to shut down, clap, CI, send it, and quick the pick play. Really can tell that he's got a good eye on the target. Finally is Steven Stamkos. He calls for one T. Now on the other side right now, only two players that has gotten a higher ability range. Austin Matthews is a shock and awe moment. The elite shooting out of the toe drag can bring out a, a good look of it from here. If he lifts it from the toe, he could get dropped out. Well, there might be someone else that could try to take him out ability runs. And last but not least is Mitchell Marner. He has his third eye. He could try to make a perception with the behavioral passer. If he finds the right eye, he could find it and pass it to the player and give a good look of, a, of the third eye. The team will never know if they get a face off with the win. Now, it's time to send you down to Scotia Bank Arena. As for standing by, we have his meat phone. Along with the other crews, the Satterites will be test two. And on the other side, we have here a great look of a player run on this offense to go with the number one in defense. Well, not the same thing with everybody. My free! He's got a good one to help it under control. But a medical attention. Well, we'll have to find out what it is. I'll be back here in the post-game show, and right now, let's have your words, B phone. You are on. Enjoy your next game on the rematch. Hello everyone, I'm Me Phone 4, and I'm Lightbrain, and this is the bout to rematch things on. A USA vs. Canada team at Scotia Bank Arena. The puck is about to be set and we're about to get things underway. Leaps and bolts, ready for the rematch. Wow, Vasilevsky got a great piece of that one to make a diving save ability. He's a starting goaltender here for the Bolts. The other side we have is Kucherov. The second one we have is Point. Bogostan is on the outside. 
Hedman right down toward the lane. And finally, Stamkos right toward the center. Stamkos really has a lot of things to say. Moment is just giving it a great start. By ability of his own time, he can try to keep him over defensive of the lineups and try to take him down right as towards the goal and try to keep him out from the deck. He can find someone else. He can do for good and keep an eye on pride. Here's point back on the other side right now. Stamkos with the puck. Mokasan, the admin went out of play. Have to try to regroup again. And regrouping is very not hard. No way to try to confess Janari to go with a good look of, a, of, of an eye, but that needs to give him a good clue. You gotta need to fix that one here for the offense if you're gonna help him out. Vasilevsky makes a good save here. That will be the starting for the shot. As a new trade-off trade is coming in in just a few moments. Back on play, Bolt's big a win. Kirby to kill Arn. He goes right over to Sir Kelly. Tampa in his own. Right towards the right. But the shot, it's stopped by Sensenov. He's a starting goalie here for the Toronto Leafs. Furbix outside. Goes right to Sir Kelly. Moving puck right over to Sir Kretchev. Agile back outside. Back over to Furbix. Looking in the middle. Kill arm. Top up here on a defender. But still trying to keep it right on stride. Not really easy enough. They gotta see something else. They can try to keep it back up there. Killer. Oh boy, that was a close call. If the penalty was regained on Toronto, they could have been out there in trouble. Here's Heigel and Charnox with the steal. Charnox walked out and it goes back into the neutral zone for Freemix. Furbix fires the puck to Paul. Paul over to Cole. Cole to Furbix. Now back to Killorn. Killorn to Furbix. Went out right. And we'll have to try to regroup here to do it again. Ah, uh, pretty too much out there. May not be enough to get a perfect timing. Pass broken up. Riley on the other hand to Kerfoot. As we talked about it before, Ryan O'Reilly has been traded just with the St. Louis Blues, and now he welcomes here with the Leafs. Ah, oh, man, I know that Ryan O'Reilly has ever played with the Blues before. Dang, you can't never say that one you again. But Ryan O'Reilly is a better player than with the success. He was the captain out there for some reason. I have to say about this one, though, because he was really a tough worker. More than I to give that one a run. Hopefully Ryan O'Reilly can stick up here with the Toronto Leafs. Jordan over to Cole. Cole swings back to Nantucott. What the shot! Good stop by Samsonov with the leg. Good, good, good stick up and make it in. Fast break. Scores! Anderson with the first goal. They've got one on board. Real plays out there. Anderson was able to try to shock it up on Valilevsky. Mm, that was a tough one to make that shot. The more ability is more timing to keep that one right. Anderson with the first goal. He finally has himself in the first playoff bound to get him started. He's got it along the board here, guys. Very tough one to go by eye to eye. Back to you guys. Go down to the bunting. Trying to make a slam out. Bunning. Trying to make a poke check. Gordano has a puck out there. Recruiting. Back to hold. The Leafs carry an offense side on their territory. Marner shot. Around the back scores. A big step-by-step -step motion. They have extension now with 2-0. Here. That was a very excellent move. More plays out there that Mitchell Marder was able to take a seat. Look, right around the back, go with the ankle breaking? I mean, what can you tell? That's very indeed impressive. Sanded right over it again. Stopped by Veselevsky. Veselevsky only got to cut up a little bit, but here comes Point. 
with the back hand. And they're on the board. They're going to fight back here and they're going to find out if they can try to deal with the tie in the shocking run of the first period. Brady Bright was able to go right from the back. Quick flash and right toward the net. That's a slight, slightest move on the angle I've never seen. Bolts are climbing into the first place and they're trying to get right into this game because Bruins are still in first. They're still in third, but they're trying to climb up again. Here comes Stamkos with the back. Stopped by Samsonov with a good save. That really has to give him up a good look of it because if Samsonov was able to get there, he made it that one a good timing. Back the other way right now is Bolts. Sides is to go deep. That's broken up on Kucherov. Carry it back away. Kucherov carries it back. Sand in with the puck over to Kemp. And it's stopped again. Stamkos with the puck. Passing the puck around the net. Here's Paul with the shot. It's blocked in front. Wilgren recovers the puck. Now back to Engvall. Anderson with the puck. He's in the corner all alone. Shoots back and good stop by Vasilevsky and he gets to hold the puck with under mid-period. Players are set right now, getting ready for the face-off. 2-1 is where we go to Leafs take a lead. Paul wins it. Cole back the other way. Over to Colton. Almost would have been offside, but it still goes it tight. That's pretty close out there because if the other man was in there, you're going to have to call that one an offside. Colton's got a puck here by the board. Cernox to Cole. He gives it back to Cernox. With the fire, that's blocked out and deflected over again by the defenders. Maroon outside. Gives it to Cernox. Jelly, oh man, that defender was on him. Sandville fires the puck around. Now here's Maroon. Gives it to Hedjo. Hedjo almost went losing it. Trying to give it back to him, but it went right behind the net. Now resets to Furbex. Back to Maroon, back to Sergevin. Furbex outside, taking a big look. Samsonov with the save. We'll stop the play here with only 7.05 to go in the first period. There's really strong ones there. There's a lot of things to say. When the play gets a little good uh, eyesight, there's someone else that's going to try to keep their minds open. They've got to get over it. Penalty on Bolts. There will be called the slashing call. Yep, there it is. Bellamar. Disappointing run here for the first period for the for the, for the hook on the defense. Yeah, there it is. There it is. That's what happens here. He was right on the face. On the third eye of Mitchell Marner, he's got a good setup of strength. He has a third one to keep an eye here on the power play, guys. Because of his moment, has to believe him on his own. All over him right now, as for the, as the player of itself right at this moment, Sam Coos really is giving games a good amount of instructor. There are one way to make it pursuit and make a pursuit right towards it right around the back. You could try to find another way to go right from heavy to head back. I'll keep an eye on the two players. Back around the corner. Back to you guys. Nylander up with the shot. Score! It's a power play goal! Tavares! Make it snappy on the board. There's the goal. As we talked about a year before, the Tavares has that one in there with the start. Along with the passes, he's got a backhand right now that's trying to stop Vasilevsky. With the play of this inbound, guys, he has it all in cover. Offside is called on Toronto, and we got the faceoff coming up. Teams are ready to take their faceoff in the neutral zone. The score is 3-1 over the Tampa Bay Bucks. Riley wins the faceoff. Bunning squeezes up on the corner of the wall. Eyesight tipped away. Marner 
do not have enough room as Veselovsky takes a stop. The Bolts have it up there in front. Riley has the puck in control now. Marner on a straight eyesight. Blocking the forward corner. Deep pass to Perry. Perry on the one on one. Riley takes it away as Holberg has one. Simmons has the puck in bound. Now gives it back over to Belomar. Gives it off to Kucherov. Fires the puck in deep. To Stamkos. Stamkos brings the puck over to Serchev. Trying to stop them bound by the player, but it was tipped out too soon. Yeah, it was really a tough, I was going to say. There's a lot of them that are going to try to like keep an eye out of them. Can't lose in focus. Good play here, and Stamkos has it back. Stamkos with the puck. Gives it the corner to Kucherov. Oh, missed the pass here. It's broken up. Aston Rees over to Holmberg. Three minutes to go in the first period. A 3-1 lead for Toronto. Bang it down. Holmberg up. Stop by Vasilevsky with the pad. Kucherov with the puck. Tampa Bay back in the offense zone. Trying to move around again. Oh boy, that was a little heavy hit on the point. Could have called that one a penalty. Not really enough out there. Might have to find somebody else to try to take him over. And there we go. We got a roughing call with a smash. That's going to be on Giordani. The power play is on for Tampa. Ooh, that hit! That was too much! With a call, here's Testu. Steven Stamkos has a lot of the of the, of the puck wrist. The moment is a really in temptation, but this is all that he has. The giving up in front, it's giving up here with the better plays in this defense, the go of offensive strategy. I'll keep an eye on Steven Stamkos if he gets a power play in there. Back to you guys. Puck clears out. The Bolts regroup their positions. Paul with a deep pass. Recheck it up as Kempf and Marner. Going to get shorthanded. Great stop by Stamkos. Oh, Kemp! Wow! He is crushing it. They get shorthanded goals and Tampa. Getting a loss out of the first goal of this game. No power plays, no problem. Kim take it away. With that one short-handed goals, guys, there is one way to try to stop them puck inbound. He is all alone. Take it from here and go back where he came from. Back to you guys. With the backhand, stopped again. Paul went behind. The net, and it carries over to the net and out of the play. An excellent start for Toronto Maple Leafs. They have a 4-1 lead over the Bucks. Now just one minute of play in the first period. Take it back into your deck, and it's Sergeyev. 40 seconds to play for the Colts power play, and 43 seconds for the regular game clock. Kucherov shot, and it's stopped again by Samsonov. And bad pass connection here. Colts racing down towards the offense, just 14 seconds to play. He's almost ready to go out there. Snappy run, move around the man, shoots, scores, Kucherov, power play goal, no need to waste down the clock, he has it buzzed before the second, first period is over. Kucherov spinning around at that point, he gave it out for the wrist shot, he was way off that angle, trying to go with the beat. Kucherov was able to try to go with the wraparound shot and take the wrist shot from here. He knows his team could try to like keep him eyes on the deck. When Kucherov sees it, he tries to fling it and make that one a wrist shot goal. That is a tricky setup, guys. He's well played. I'll keep an eye on Kucherov to give him a better look. Back to you. And block the shot. An early start for Toronto Maple Leafs. A great start 
but Kucherov was shot. They've got 4-2, and we'll be right back with the second period after this. First period, an excellent run for the Leafs. But now, the second period is on. Time to get settled. With the bolt starting, of this goal goes out to Kucherov with a good Ely wrist shot and puts up a great deck on the offense. How does it really take here that what Kucherov has definitely practiced before? Well, keep it in mind, the risk is out there just for one, one simple reason. But I have to say about him, he is well out there. I mean, not to tell literally, but this one was a very great successful range. He's all alone, he's working very hard on a, on a great uh, epidemic and to make it stride. He was able to try to keep the secret out of it. He says, I got daily wrist shots. This is my time to give that one a shot. Wow, put back in for point. You're coming down by one. Oh boy, great point. Wow. Great rebounding, and I like that play. That's a great help out there for the defense. I mean, offense, I just say. But that is all it does turn out. What a play make. Point's got a second buck, second goal of the night. Right now, here on the other hand, Samsonov rejects it. In. And back with this one here for Kucherov. What does it usually take for Kucherov's practice on the eye? Yeah, and this keeping is just very, not, very difficult for him to take a moment. I must say, you could just try to like uh, keep practicing with the shots, and maybe at that point, you could try to keep going. What the move! Score! They're getting away, and John Crooks got a goal. He was way on the mount, and putting the back way right in there with the backhand to stop Vasilevsky, he was able to try to keep his eyes on crime. I mean, he was way out there. Look at that. Oh, almost got a penalty call. That was a close call for the Tampa. Not that long. They were trying to keep it clean. They were trying to get away from it to try to stop them down. All alone, it was, it's a lot of the practice to take care of it. Sir Jajan shoots it up from the corner and stamps it out with a stop. That one with the play gives him a good stop into the run, a 5-3 lead over the Bolts. Next face-off is on. Both teams are trying to make their connection fee to go right back in between. Now the Bolts wins again. That's number eight. Sergeant back over to Paul. Paul and Furbix. Furbix shot. And yeah, looking back open again, but it's not going to be in this time. Nylander with the puck back on the offense now. Gives it over to Colton. Colton fires the puck around. Now Maru has one. With the shot. Oh, that blocked him away. Great stop. This play is just tremendous out there. Going to be a rough call if you need it. Cole swings to Colton. That stop by Santana. Put back here for Cooper. Toronto firing the puck in deep. Goes over to Perry. They go attack from center to offense. Right toward the wall, Colton. Colton flings over to Cole. Back over to Curtis. With a shot! Run a rebound into the front! Oh, wow! Wow, that Samson was able to try to stop one. He says, where is it? And he just found it. He couldn't just see it where he was going. Oh boy, watch out on that one. Can't get loose up this one. And this one goes for Vasilevsky with the controlness of this one. Control this is just a better way to make a save with the game. He's got a world to give that one a good stoppage on the run for the for the shot being attacked at. But that was given up here just extreme too difficult to maintain to try to keep him up as a rookie. But now for Legendary, he's always ready for anything. I'll keep an eye on Mazalevsky with the saves. Back to you guys.
Admin back over to Bogdorf's side. Stamkos stopped by Morno. Morno going over to Bunny. Tampa Bay back in the offense zone. He flings the puck to Stamkos. Stamkos back over to Bogdorf's side. Edmund outside. Outside, Bogdorf's side. To Edmund. A lot of plays trying to keep him out of life. And they're still going. Perry, find a look. Oh, wow. That's a corner and a missed shot. And Samsonov takes a, takes a save. And he will have to stop the play with 12.31 to go. It's through on it. Really shuts, shuts everything down. Might have to just try to refocus it on attention more. Now it puts up a nine face-off wins for the Bolts. Stamkos back to Hedman. Trying to take a shot, and it slams it on with a stop. They will stop the play with just 12 12 to go in the second period. Now they have a lot of passing aggressiveness to try to scoop him down. Now with the win, it's Tampa to Toronto. Angle. Oh boy, the double bender was on him. Gives it to Sarchow. Trying to take a pass over to Killorn. He shoots. Hazel shot. And pull it out of here. That's Angel with a stop. Back again, Sergeyev. Furmix outside. Trying to go in again. That went striking wide to the board. Wow. I mean, that really was a quick zip out there. Was going to put up a, a heavy look out there. Flyers the puck in deep around the net. Burbix carries over to Churchill. Curly up with the puck. With the move, he wasn't ready to go yet. Killorn over back over to Sergeyev. Back to Cernox. Cernox shot. Stopped by Samsonov and will have to hold the play here. Almost passing the midway period it is a 5 3 game. Now players are set here in the face-off zone. 5-3 is where we left off in the second period. Now the win puts up for Riley. Riley over to Jartrox. Move it, sweep the sweep. Good stop by Cole with the crouch. Point slamming down and again. Try to pick it up. Point! Oh, good stop by Samsonov. And Cole has it back. Cernox with the puck. Back over to Cole. Cole making a shot. Rebound scores! Kucherov! That's two in a row. And they're coming back down by one. The Mean Streakers, they want roar. They want pride. That rebound was turning out to be Kucherov with that goal. I like that one. The idea is just plain as simple. Kucherov was able to pick up his own rebound. He gives him a little help to Ian Cole. And he gives it off to Kutsukov. Uh, and he's got a good one to try to keep him the deck. With that one, he's got two. If he gets three, he will take a hat trick with a shot. I'll keep an eyes on Kucherov with the next goal update. Guys? Cohen firing the puck over to Maru. Rock to Paul with a shot. Stopped by Samsonov. Cohen, Maru, Cole. Back to Cernox. A lot of puck moving here for the Bolts. Puck went misfired and it goes right all the way down to the goaltender. Here's Cole. Right now he's out of the jailbreak. Paul with the puck. Move around again, try to give it off. Colton did not have the right timing as the defender was blocked on him. Hedman back over to Bunker side. Shoots away. That's his stop again. And Paul rebounds. Self save. Wow, wow, wow. We're here all night long right now. And Santino gives a good attention on the goal. He's really quick on move. The plays are set, ready for the faceoff. 5-4 is a score to come in to the second period of the end. Riley to Bunting. 
Bunning trying to stop him down. Now it's a call off to Perry. Trying to hold the deck. A lot of battling out here with the puck. And a lot of fans are disregarding on the Tampa Bay Bolts because they've won two Stanley Cup playoffs in the game and they were the champions to take over from here. One from 2020 to beat against the Dallas Stars and the other one to beat against the Montreal Canadiens. Yeah, it's typically true, but it's not very a typical range that you're going to try to keep it out of sight. Somehow, however, you're going to need to try to like uh, keep your eyes focused. If you have an overrating players, you've got to get a credit for it. Vasilevsky holds it with the save here with 5.32 to go. A 5-4, still no update. Now they're ready to take their face off in an offense territory. The score still getting big. Oh boy! He was going to try to go for it, but he was caught up too soon as Vasilevsky makes a save. Racing towards the fence. Ajo bringing it back over to Sarchev. Sarchev to Furbix. Give it back to Killor. Back to Furbix, right back to Sarchev. Puck back to back. Now Hagel in the behind the net. He didn't want to do it at that point as Sergerov will go back to do it again. Furbix, 2 1. Oh, broken up here. We'll have to try to regroup here and the puck is cleared out. Mmm. That was pretty tricky on this one, <laughs> but it's not very enough to try to keep him eyes out. Cool, two with a shot. Sergeyev saved by Samsonov. He's all quiet out there, trying to stop the puck here to close the game out. A 5-4 game. Interesting enough, when you're up to a good puck, you got to try to hit it right with the timing. Cool has the puck. Clings to Edvall. Engel up in the corner. Try to give it up the run. Pull shot. Stopped again by Vasilevsky. Rebound again. So big stop. Going back over to Kucherov. Under three minutes to go in the fourth, second period. It's a 5-4 game. Going with Tyler. Not enough to take over here. Turnox to Cole. Cool, finding another way to go right around it, and Camp with a steal. Good poke check. Nice stop here for the belts. Kucherov's got it now. In corner, trying to hit it off the deck. Outside, Cole, under two minutes to play in the second period of the game. So that's the Kucherov, shot! Almost went tipped in, and Samsonov didn't really want to waste time. He just want to take a save and get ready for the next face-off. Now the players are set. 16 face-off wins for the Leafs and 10 for the Bulls. Now it's 17. Bunting right over to net. Brody over to Tavares. Over to Marner. Oh, he stopped again. Ah, uh, that wasn't going to be a penalty call. It wasn't there going to be one. Well, I don't know if I would complain that. Last minute of the play in the second period. It's a 5-4 game. Look at the ball. Oh, wow. That went to wide. Colton shot. Stopped again by Samsonov. Headman with the puck. Back to both shot. A lot of great passes in between. Headman with the shot. Trying to give it back to both shot. From the shot shot, that stopped again by Samsonov. Martyr back to Riley. Riley racing towards, trying to beat it, not this time. And that's going to end the second period. Close game inbound, it's a 5-4 game. It could be a tie for the next period. We'll find out when we come back after the break. It's that time. The third period is on the line for game one. This was an intense matchup. 
a USA versus Can Canadian team in a matchup in the first round. But now, they are trying to pull it back from the deck. I like that when this play goes into a great stoppage on the run. Since you can tell that one here, there's one way I can definitely say that Kucherov and their team has gotten some great stack abilities. Other teams, well, not really too much to go for it, but, uh, but they are on to a great start for the, for the Leafs. And probably on that one here, we haven't seen Ryan O'Reilly gain a goal. And with that one, they might be in our way to try to stop the deck out of them. We'll have to find out if they can try to do it again. Heaven! Oh, wow. That's a Samsonov save. And fans are going oohs and ahs at this moment. Stamkos taking the steal. Oh, boy. He could be going in there. Going in the net. And it's blocked up in front. Top dive. And Heaven has it back. He gives it off to Bomashan. Back to Hedman. Trying to give it to Samkos. Back shot! Samsonov save! Brody with the puck. Back to Marner. Toronto back the air away. Oh, hello! That's going to be a big problem with the mark. Oh, don't get mad with that one. Never mess with the players on offense. Bonte stopped again on the good save by Vasilevsky. Puck clears out. Icing is the call on Tampa, and we'll have a face-off ready to go. If you're looking towards the tomorrow's game, we've got a lot of players to go right between, as we got the Kings and Oilers at Crypto.com Arena. Then we have his Devils and the Rangers at Prudential Center. Across on the other hand, we have across from the two, Dallas Stars and Avalanche at Ball Arena. And finally, Hurricanes and Islanders at PNC Arena. That will be coming up here later here tonight because we got a lot of games to share with you to show what's going on. <laughs> Indeed, really like to see what it's going to be about. Eagle, trying to stop with the puck out there, gives it to Killorn. Killorn, run the move! That's stopped again by Samsonov. Bogashan over to Killorn. Going with the front, and Gordano says no, sir. Back to hole, over to Jarchov. Over to Nylander, good stop stick player by Vasilevsky with the toe. Not a shock at all moment, but he still got it. Kirchell up again. Killorn! Oh, Samson have had a bat. And he was going to pull out to go with a breaking bat. <laughs> what a breaking point if it is. That may be a tough one to try to stay out. Players are set, ready for the faceoff. 5-4 is where we left off in the third. No updated scores yet as Sharkov. Given the puck. Summer Chad over to Colton. Fires the puck in deep. He decides to give it to Paul as the play continues. Furbix, Summer Chad to Furbix. Trying to rip it around it. Oh! Almost had it out there. Good look. Yeah, look, good look out there. But the goalie went on him. And Santana was trying to like keep him out of here. That's a great play. Furnix went down. Oh, here we go. Oh, big stop. Vasilevsky with the save. My, oh my. It would almost been caught up too short. Anderson stopped it. Pop with the block shot. Camp with the puck. Stopping again, Maroon. Circa Chapel went again to Paul. Back to Maroon. Take a shot. That's blocked up in front. Cernix. Over back over to Circa Chap. With a shot over to the other shot. And the penalty coming up for Toronto. A slashing call. Oh man, the fans are never going to like it at all. Eggval. He's not really good. Why was this happening? Well, that slash was going to go too much out of it. That was fairly big. He is disappointed. 
Power play coming in for Toronto for the penalty kill. And a power play for Tampa. Ready for action. If they're ready to take a tie, they will. Stamkos back to Hedman. Hedman over to Stamkos. Stamkos racing towards. Take a shot. Stop by Samsonov. A good stop made. Only 12.06 to go. And O'Reilly win. Pop carries out of the zone. Hedman recovers it from the puck. He gets over to Stamkos. Oh, he's racing. Oh, boy. Give the puck over to Hydro. But Hedman has it. Stamkos. Shot blocked. Aston Reeves clears the puck out. That play was out of the silence for now. And this one is a tough one to be in relax. And now the penalty calls on Tampa. It goes on Steven Stamkos. The captain is disagreeing is disagreeing with the referee call. How did this really happen? This was happening to be the interference he was going to get over it. Now the 4 on 4 play after the man advantage is over for Tampa. You're going to see what they could do to try to stack it up. Now Point has it. Point right up the other way. Going to try to see what he could do. Cross running over to Gardano. Camp with the puck. Trying to go with the stop. Bunning has it recovered. Point decided no, he can never go with that. Oh, Mad Mina in the house. And a shot scores! They tie the game as the goal puts Kucherov. That's three goals and there are the hats. That's for Kucherov. Oh wow, Kucherov! What a splendid run! And that's your hat trick, folks. A great score. Yeah, look at that. It looks like that Kucherov was able to pick up a good shot. Now they have it on the lead. They're always going to get that one succeeded when he knows it. When Kucherov was able to talk with the plate team and on the interview, he was able to talk with one of the teams. He says, most players could definitely try to take over my side. I like the team. This is where I want to be, and I want to be here with better players to get to know them. The rivals? Not so, not so really. But the play of this amount? It's good to be true. Not the other side right now. Here's Corral. Power play is almost over right now. And the power play is over. The main advantage is over for the for the Maple Leafs as only one stand out for the four on four of of Barry Kucherov. And Kucherov was able to try to take him over from the deck, ready for the play to be there. Now the fight is happening now. It's a tie game in between Tampa and Toronto. Riley right in the corner. Take a look in here. What a play here for a defender. Try to stop the puck with inbound. Nagarkov. Oh boy. Cernox back over to Cole. Back to Cernox. With a shot. Fired out. And it's tipped wide. Brody with the puck. Now going back the other way, over to Kerfoot. Back to John Rock. John Rock with the puck, now in it. Almost would have been picked up, but it's now turned it over way. Nylander, club save by Vasilevsky. Stop the play with under eight minutes, a tie score. And with the play inbound, we go to test two. Andre Vasilevsky has gotten some great speed of the scores. With a pad save, every save he has, with a stopping of the wild shot from the from the team on offense he has played. Their play was just absolutely insane. They have the movement ability. They have to find another way to try to make a stop out of it. We'll see what happens if another save occurs. I'll keep an eye on Vasilevsky if he goes with a wild save emotion. Back to you guys. Bunning, right toward the corner. Mortar up! Wow! 
Oh my! He was on off the target. What a play. Maru take the lead. Taken over again by Riley. 6.20 left to go. Here's Bunte. Colton's got his puck back. Now they're playing offense though. Gives it over to Paul. Paul with the puck. Not to Bogashan. Hedman will have to try to regroup here on offense. They can't leave it alone out there. Offside, whistled on Toronto, and we'll have the puck ready for a faceoff. Now we have another win. And with the pucks take away, Killorn. Fast break. Ooh, would have been toughed out there. Martyr with the puck. Oh, bang out. That's yeah, not going to be good enough for them. Oh boy. The slash, bang. Bolt down. And the leaf went down, I meant. Bolt slash. Evan and Kemp can't make a good connection feed for Maroon. With the shot. Taking the block out of it. Good stop by Maroon. Kucherov in his deep corner. Gets it for Goshan. Kick the puck to point. Now to Hedman with the shot. No room to feed. Point with the shot. Stopped away by Samsonov. Hedman outside. Give a good look. Stamkos, bad pass. Anderson's got the puck here in the nail of his own. Puck flings up, still stays alive. Not out of play yet. Shot one timer stopped again by Veselevsky. Veselevsky was able to try to see what he was going to go through. That was very close. Can no longer be protected by anywhere else in the world. Edmund trying to hold up with the run. Oh, camp, here we go. And shot scores. They have the lead. The two goal game. With camp. My, oh my. I don't know what to say about this one, <laughs> but he's like a star. He wants to upset the team for the first for the first game. But I don't know what will happen. They've got a lot of them. Stop the play about my Kerfoot. Oh wow. Me Lander back over to Jarn Rocks. Jarn Rocks in there. Now to play out there, no penalty call. Circle check and stopped by Kerfoot. We're coming down to 90 seconds to play. A 6-5 lead for Toronto. Try to take it over from here. Jarnock's up with the puck. Goes over to Nylander. Blocked away. Perry has it right now in the, in the neutral to offense zone. They decided to give it to somebody else. What a shot! He's blocked up! Evan over to Burrix. Furbix going in! Scores! The back-to-back -back goals in the game! And Furbix with the goal! They decide not to bring the man advantage. He finally had that goal! Furbix, unstoppable! Every play in this motion is turning out to be a quick move, a slash one. The Lightnings have made a comeback in the third period. They're looking for a way to go to overtime in the first game. And here's Angel. Pass broken up. Marner with the puck. 35 seconds to play in the third period. Bunny. Over again to Mears. Shot! Stopped out by Veselinski. Go around the man. And what a play for Veselinski. He is still not quitting. No quit here in Tampa. Can't go full down. 15 seconds to play. Killorn gonna try to take a win. Marner stop. Oh, here's Killorn. Gertrell trying to stop the motion. Marner trying to go with a deep. The shot. 
No, he can't. That ends the regulation, but the game's not over yet. It's tie the game, 6-6. Six, six. Overtime is next. Both teams, what a rival intense matchup in between a USA versus Canadian team. As for self, the total shots was turning out to be a whacking whack of the run. The motion was very hard to try to lift it from the score. 43 total shots and 38 total shots for Toronto. A lot of major hits for Toronto and 7 with the slash as the Leafs got a hard stone to try to reject the bolt. And may not be enough to get it easy, but the bolts are making a speed demon with the flash move. Just like Flash, the superhero. <laughs> superhero it is. I have, I've seen it here before. It didn't look like uh, Flash. If they, if we would have called it a Flash of the Bolts, we would have seen it like that. <laughs> that would be interesting. And now it's on the overtime. OT in the scores. Has a lot of uh, plays inbound. Kucherov has three goals and got a hat trick with the shot. All hats to the player that we call for Kucherov. But there's a lot of them that might be turning things out as Marner has gotten a goal. And stopping the run is Furbix. And this is going to be a very tough one to try to keep a deck out of range. The next goal could be it in game one. Will it be Tampa? Or will it be Toronto? Let's see what happens. Overtime about to get set. The second time here for the part of the season. In the game. And we're ready to go. Here's Riley. He will try to scoot it back and it goes right back with the Marner. Now finds Tavares. Tavares up at the shot at the corner. Gonna try to pick it. And he put a goal. That's it. The Leafs win the game. It's seven to six. They finally have their celebration to stop the Bolts. Bolts run. It's over. Good night. Mitchell Marner with the tape to tape beat. As Tavares had that one in there, that was the game finisher. What a play, what a stop. We all salute fans here on ice. Thanks for the mascot of the polar bear. We couldn't agree with that one much more. Now, I have to say this one, this was a, like a toughness game. Easy calls, easy squeezy. The Leafs are definitely got a great win with a start. But the Bolts are not done yet. They will have a few more games to get back in the game. Right now, the lead series for Toronto is 1-0. Well, as are being said, thanks for joining us here, and we'll see you again the next game of Pride. Three star players of the game are on the board. Great in point with two goals, an assist, and a hit. They've got a good backhand check with an amazing set of depth. Second star, a game winning for Mitchell Marner, two goals and an assist. Excellent tape to tape feed by Tavares and got a good one in overtime. And the first star is Kucherov. Three goals and two assists. What an amazing look of a performance run and got a great setup goal to take it ahead. Well, as are being said, me phone and life ring are gone along with test tube. This has been a presentation for the Stanley Cup playoffs on NHL 23 of EA Sports. Tune with us next time for tomorrow's game as we got a lot of games to keep it coverage out there to get in the, in the game. I will keep an eye on this steady and thanks for joining us here for, an, for the earliest rematching of the game. Catch you all next time. Let's go over to OJ with the total stats. Mikron, thank you very much. As for the total stats on board, this was all that has to turn things out. A great win and a good night in the first game for the Tampa Bay as Toronto hits the win for 7-6 run. It was very uh, clever to try to keep the scores up and behind. There's a lot of them, the players, and their static ability to try to keep the deck out. For this win, 
it turned out to be one by one. Both teams have power plays with only one. A short-handed goal for Toronto, and it's only a, a badness decision making as the passing percentage has gone quite down a bit, right in between by 85 and 77. Well, as we're being said right now, I hope you enjoyed the game, and we would like to appreciate you to go ahead and subscribe to Son of Beast. He's got many followers in this one, and if you don't subscribe, somebody will do it. And you'll miss out the Stanley Cup playoffs for the rest of your day. Nope, it ain't going to happen like that. <laughs> so, do what I ask you, or you'll be sorry. And don't forget to follow him on social media. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and peace out to everyone for a while as the NHL 23 of the Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports style. This is OJ, and good night in Toronto, along with the Bolt City of Tampa Bay. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.